Yo, what's up Lego Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios. How are we all doing? I got a little knot right here in this that untangle. Ah, oh, yes. Right on. Right on time. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> Hopefully this stream I'll actually stream for longer than 10 minutes. I don't know how many of you guys saw. I streamed for a bit on Saturday, but it was only like 10 minutes or so. And I'll explain why in just a second. But first, let's throw up a little message on Instagram. See who we can get to join the stream, shall we? <clears throat> What's up, Gura? We got Doug. Douglas R, Speedwalker, Lego Tank, Lucas Plays, Mox and Minifigs, Commander Wolf, TG, TJ Collects, Captain of Star Wars, Pocket Bricks, Mateo, Captain of Star Wars, and Gary. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Whoops. Yeah, crop. I'm just going to upload this on Instagram really quick and then I'll do a little overview of what's going down today. Ooh, we got a lot of people in the chat today. That's what I like to see. Built another layer to my Lego city. That's exciting. How did it turn out? Coruscant. that there a little youtube graphic so people know where to go as if they don't already know okay <clears throat> so have you ever bought anything on whatnot no i haven't i don't buy a whole lot of lego anymore unless it's parts you know i'm a little bit now that i'm doing this full time this youtube thing i'm trying to be a much more smart and frugal with my money because i don't have as much so i haven't i don't i haven't really been doing much buying i guess i didn't really do that much buying beforehand honestly it hasn't changed that much i feel like maybe a little bit anyways what's up hawaiian bricks how you doing mox and minifigs hope i said hello to everybody so i'm finally ready to begin work on coruscant it's episode one is going to be coming out this Sunday, which means obviously there's there's no mock here, so I need to get some some work done on the mock. But first, I need to organize and get all these parts ready. I got so many parts, so many parts. But the sooner I get all this done, the sooner I'll be all ready to go. Love your videos, keep it up. Thank you, Speedwalker, I appreciate it. Where do you live? I live in Iowa and it's hot here. I live in Utah. It's not too bad today. I wanna to say it's like up the ladies. So basically what I'm doing here is just sorting parts by color and by what kind of part they are. So nothing too crazy here, you know, slopes, inverted slopes, bricks. I also have two rocket droids and a commando droid captain. Nice. What do you guys do with your plastic bags from Bricklink orders? Do you save them or do you just throw them away? What up, Scott? How you doing, man? Scott in the house. Yeah, don't forget to drop a like. I'm saving up for the ATTE as well. I would like to get the ATTE come August. Real excited for that one. Now that I've actually seen it and seen the set, pretty excited for it. I'm mostly excited for what I'm gonna do with the set. I'm gonna take it apart as soon as I build it and do an alternate build. Hey, what's up Slipstream? How you doing, man? <clears throat> Thanks for joining.
a little bit later if you guys want we can um, look at some concept art for Coruscant I can kind of show you guys what exactly Coruscant's going to look like because Coruscant here's the interesting thing I think about Coruscant you we Coruscant's a very recognizable skyline but I feel like when you get down into like a more micro scale like the actual streets and buildings you don't you don't have a super good idea of how it looks especially upper course obviously the lower levels is different you got all different kinds of stuff that happens down there but the upper levels you don't see a lot you know there isn't a whole lot of scenes of just like the upper excuse me upper streets and roads so i've had to dig for that and kind of figure out what it's going to look like but finally starting to get a good idea of what i'm going to be doing I have 50 501st clone troopers staying. That's a lot. I'm doing pretty good, Scott. I'm a little tired today, but I feel like I'm always tired. Does anybody else just feel like they're always tired? Coconut, you know the new James Bond Lego car? I think the minifigure of James Bond is bad because the actor doesn't know how to play Lego. Should do better. Do Sean Connery or Timothy Dalton. What do you think? Uh, I don't really know anything about James Bond. I have never seen the movies, so I don't, I don't know anything about James Bond. So I think I have no thoughts on that. What's up, Bacon? How you doing, man? Should I change my name from Captain Star Wars to something else? Um, I mean, it depends. Channel names are just really up to like what kind of brand you want to create for your channel. You know, you can, you can make just about anything work. I think I'm probably going to do my first building Coruscant stream this Saturday, I think. trying to think of like what building I'm going to actually start with, you know, like what I'm going to be building. But I think I might start doing one on Saturday. I'm excited for the licensed speed champion sets. What gets you excited about the speed champions? Are you in the cars? So many parts. All these parts it just doesn't end but that's a good thing though it means I'll have lots of stuff to start working in Coruscant the backdrop for the live stream with the three shock troopers is that from a video with sticky tack to pose the minifigs no it's just a photo I took of some shock troopers I needed something that was like that gave off Coruscant vibes and so I have this little backdrop I made that was in that video, and then I just took three shock troopers and put them on there since I'll be including shock troopers in the mock. I'll probably, you know, once I get into like actually building course on, I'll put together a better, um, better thumbnail for live streams. This view is really different. Yeah, I don't do this setup a whole lot. This, I was trying to decide like where to set up because, you know, I'm not building anything really. So I just kind of like, threw the camera up and I needed lots of space to sort all the parts so definitely an angle I don't do a whole lot speed champions is a great theme sadly eatery individuals car set is getting a $5 increase oh speed champions is going up that's right it's unfortunate so hyped for course not me too me too I'm getting more and more excited for it I always get a little apprehensive right before I start a mock and that's finally starting to wear off a little bit with Coruscant. Now that I've, you know, started to formulate a little bit more of a plan, I'm starting to get more excited for it. Will you be including a Coruscant Guard Commander as well? And if so, which one? I would like to. I haven't figured out who exactly, like, what clone troopers. Like, I'm thinking about maybe having Fox. But definitely some kind of, you know, officers or commanders. Yo, what's up, custom Lego pandas? It's going good. How you doing? Did my first Lego Twitch stream. How, how was that? Did you have success? 
I wanted to design some stuff in studio and it seems that no longer works on my Mac. Did you get a new Mac or did the system upgrade? How big is the mock gonna be? Huge. This entire, the entirety of the tables that held Kato Nemoidia is gonna be where the mock will be. So a little bit bigger than Kato Nemoidia. I don't know, probably not as tall because I don't have to build those giant mountains. It might be as tall in some areas, but like not across the whole space. Is it from the video and the one with the two shock troopers and that Imperial officer? No, it's not. I mean, the, the backdrop is the little scene thing, but like I, I made that scene specifically for their thumbnail. Have you made a mock of Order 66? Mm, probably, maybe. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. But I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I did at some point. What's up, Cheese? How you doing, man? How was uh, Brickworld? I saw your mock. It turned out so good. Very impressed. Are you going to be putting out like a showcase of it on YouTube? Which Lego Commander do I think will be made next? I mean, it's so hard to know, like, because obviously we haven't seen any, um, we haven't really seen any in, uh, any content recently but like we hadn't seen a phase two Cody in forever and you know a lot of that had to do with fan petitioning so Ooh, I I don't know maybe Commander Gray or Hauser I could see a Hauser especially if he shows up again in the second season of the Bad Batch when did I start making videos I started making videos January of 2019 so it's been a little while Oh, software update. Oh, software updates. Those take forever. They always, they seem to come at like just terrible times too. I don't know if that's happened to you guys, but like I've been needing to stream or making make a video and then like I need to update my software. What's up, Mayo? How you doing, man? Have you seen the last episode? Yes, I've seen the whole series. Phase Ness, welcome to the stream. Will you be selling the dark and light gray pieces? No, no way, dude. That stuff is priceless now light blue gray and dark blue gray are just you'll always there's always going to be a need for those like the reason i sold dark tan is because i had just an obscene amount and you know depending on what i do like let's say i do terrain mocks or city mock i'm not going to use a whole lot of dark tan in a city mock but even if i'm building a terrain mock any kind of base or platform anything that's going to be on there is going to be some color of gray so you can always use you know, light bluish gray and dark bluish gray colors. So I'm probably just gonna hang on to all of my gray colors. Yo, what's up, Solid Brick Studios? How you doing, David? Dude, how's life been? What you been up to? I feel like I haven't seen a whole lot of you recently. But you know, not not that that's a bad thing. Obviously, you're doing your doing your thing. But I hope I hope it's uh, good things. Hope life's treating you well. Um, have you heard of Cape Cantina? Yes, I have heard of Cape Cantina. Uh, I don't own anything from Cape Cantina just because... I don't know, I'm not really into capes. And I know that's not all they sell, but like capes and cloths and stuff, I've just never been... I don't know, I just never really needed that kind of stuff. But I am thinking about looking into Cape Cantina for Jabim to get some more tent and canvas pieces for the base. Do you still have dark tan to sell? Yeah, I've got some. If you're interested, hit me up on Instagram. They make a Commander Gray mini for See, that's another one I was thinking of. Maybe Commander Gray would be another one. Just finished watching it, not gonna lie. It's a movie worthy quality. Any thoughts on the sec on the second season? Um I don't know. I I mean obviously. Obviously, if they had to, they could come up with some stories for season two. I just don't know what else they would tell, you know. Been good, man. I got some cool projects coming up. Nice. That's what we like to hear. Cool projects coming up from Solid Brick Studios. I would imagine one of those is probably Geonosis. And I don't know if you can say this on stream or if you want to, but like, are you going to be bringing Geonosis back as a weekly series? Like, are you going to be adding on to that? first genosis mod because i know that finale was like a part one finale right so 
Does that mean you're going to be taking that build and then adding on to it? Putting in like a droid factory or something. Anybody who's new just joining, um, I'm sorting parts for my big Coruscant series that's going to be starting this Sunday. So I know it's not the most exciting stream or the most exciting thing to do, but it's got to be done. Got to do it. Sorry, I can't stay. I have a good live stream. It's all good, man. Thanks for dropping in, Mayo. Made my first order the other day from Cape Cantina. What'd you get? I've got the, the only light I'm using is set up behind me, so it makes me look weird. I wonder if it looks that way for you guys too. Just wondering what happened to Reva and the other people Kenobi left. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that doesn't look terrible. Probably should have put on the light on that side of me, but to be honest, I was just too lazy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to pick up my light and then move it over there and have to plug it in and stuff. What would you like to see in the Bad Batch season two? Whew, that's a tough one because like I'm not a huge fan of the Bad Batch. Like it was cool, but I just I'm not that interested in those characters. So like any kind of Clone Wars callback or reference I would enjoy. I know some people wouldn't like that, but like me being a Clone Wars fan, you know, that's that's what I'd like to see. Maybe them I don't know. Ah, that's a tough question. Cause I'm just like just so not invested in that TV show. That's like I don't really know what I'd want to see from it, you know? What about you guys? What are some things you'd like to see from season two of The Bad Batch? It will be a lot bigger, dude. Oh, oh, oh exciting. I'm trying to remember how many base plates wide and long was the original Genosis Moth? Because it wasn't massive, but it was still, you know, it was a decent sized Moth from what I remember. Uh, got a heavy 501st pauldron and a Soko waist cape. That's nice, nice little haul. What's the shipping like with Cape Cantina? I actually just found my Phase 1 Rex the other day. Do you guys think, so now that we, now that we have one Commander Cody and one um, Captain Rex, do you think Captain Rex is going to continue to be worth more than the Cat Commander Cody? Or do you think, let's say in five years, the Phase 2 Commander Cody will be worth just as much as the Captain Rex figure? Three by three, okay. Three by three, I'm trying to like envision that. That's, that's a decent size. So are you thinking, are you thinking like another three by three? Also, bro, sharp. Sorry about your job ending early. Hey, you watched the video. I appreciate it, man. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it was. It's it. It was rough. Like uh, that day, I was just shell shocked. Like I, I, I wasn't expecting. You know, like I've never, I've never had. I've never really been let go from a job. I've always had work or another job lined up. And obviously, like YouTube was what I wanted to do moving forward. And so like, I knew it was coming, but the fact that it just like came a little bit, it came before I was ready. It was definitely like that first, that afternoon, dude, I was, I was not doing great, but you know, I think, I think it worked out for the best. I was really able to like buckle down with the channel a lot sooner, get more serious about it. And honestly, like I really hated my job at that point like I was pretty in a pretty bad state mentally and so I think it was for the best <clears throat> bacon don't even go there we don't want another holiday special what oh I'm hyped for any Star Wars show I'd watch Star Wars cooking show if that existed how to prepare your tauntaun when your family's coming over bigger nice hey bigger is always better you can never go wrong with bigger 
I've done that with a couple of mocks before where I start out and I'm like, you know what, this could be bigger. Like my acclimator build, I just decided to make it bigger and it was better. Well, hi, what's your opinion on the new Star Wars sets? Dude, I think the new Star Wars sets are awesome. I was talking about the ATT a little bit on that video I put out on Saturday and I was like, that set is like a good callback to like classic 2013 Clone Wars sets. 20, you know, 2000, let's say 2008 to 2014. Just a really good solid build. Honestly, it's not, I would have expected a higher price, like 150, 160 for that many minifigures and that big of a build. Like I was, I was kind of shocked. So I'm, I'm super happy with the price. I'm not a fan, like I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be overly negative, but I'm not a fan of the new style of Clone Trooper, the 2020 style or whatever. I like realistic the best. So I'm not a huge fan of the 212 Troopers, and I don't really know why they put the helmet, the hole above where it's supposed to go. That looks really weird. So like, I'm mostly excited for the vehicle because I have a custom Cody. I've got like 50 212 Troopers in the realistic style. So, you know, I don't really need those, but like for people who don't have what I have, you know, who don't have that Cody, who don't have those 212 Troopers, who don't have his EATTs, I think it's an awesome set. And then the Starfighter, I think, is cool. Even the Justifier, I think, is cool. It's a little expensive, but honestly, it's a decent looking set. I have to go get my cow ready for the fair. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Well, good luck with the cow, dude. And good luck at the fair. I hope you win something. Win yourself a... Did they give out blue ribbons still? Um, gotta use the VIP points for the ATT. Whoa, how many VIP points do you have saved? I don't have any. Well, I think I might have a little bit. How many shock troopers do you plan to make for this mock? That's a good question. Um, honestly, I've been going a little back and forth with those because I want to have, I want this to be my biggest clone battle mock to date because Utapau and Kato Nemordia, I couldn't really fit a ton of clones because you know the the build limited the like the the space to where I could build a battle, whereas this is the first one that I can really just cover the whole mock in minifigures. So I would like I really want to do like 50 shock troopers, 50 plain white phase two troopers, and then like 20 mixed clone troopers of like you know um, 91st recon, 187, just like some random ones. The only problem with that is. I'm gonna have to decal all 50 of those shock troopers, which for those of you who decal and have seen me decal know it's it's quite the process. I think right now I've got close to 20 shock troopers. I've got most of them right here and some regular 212 or some regular phase two. So I'm hoping for 50 of each, maybe 40, just depending on where I'm at decaling wise. Cause I don't like to decal too much cause I don't like breathing in the, the fumes from the sealant, but I would like 50 of each of those. <clears throat> Hey, Starmax, what's up, man? Love the new angle. Yeah, this is definitely not a permanent angle. I don't really like the lighting it's behind me, which was a terrible idea, but um, I just needed a good empty space to sort all these parts. How was the finale for Kenobi? I loved it. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but the last two episodes of Kenobi redeemed the show 100% for me. Like, I was on the verge of tears in those episodes just amazing and like i was about ready to give up on the show i'd kind of given up on it already just because of the the beginning so it had a rough beginning but boy did it end did it end well Whew. i would like to talk about it so maybe on a later stream i'll do like a kenobi stream or something where we can talk about it because i think there's some interesting stuff to talk about hey and welcome jhs 13 i really want a better lego room my room right now sucks why does it suck i love how the let's see you should make a mini mock of palpatine's office oh i might add palpatine's office to coruscant is that what you're talking about add palpatine's office to coruscant i might that's a good idea because i am going to be including part of the senate building so maybe i'll build a little office for him how many minifigures would you use i'd like to have I'd like to have around 300 because let's see I want to have I want to have like 150 clone troopers that's like clone soldiers officers every pilots everything to do with clones 150 of those 
Um, I'd like to have 150 battle droids and then maybe like 50 civilian senators or random minifigures. So probably like 350 maybe. Which is just a ridiculous amount. They dodged a bullet, but the show was still ultimately underwhelming. They dodged a big bullet. They, they were on the verge of just screwing up big time and making a lot of people very angry. And... But here's the thing, that being said, I don't know, I don't know that I would rather this show be here. Like as cool as it was to see the Vader and Kenobi stuff and like that whole story, I just, there's something about not seeing that. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I have to, like, I just watched the show today, so I'm going to have to like watch it again, really let my thoughts marinate and figure out like what I think, but I'm like... As cool as this was, would it have been better to not know this? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, welcome A and B. How you doing, man? It'd be cool if you or someone else made a recap of Kenobi and Mock Club. I mean, Starmax did that a little bit with his three Kenobi mocks. Which each turned out really good. Haven't watched any of the show and don't plan on it. I mean, it's definitely, definitely not for everybody. I know a couple people who aren't watching it, but I, as a Star Wars fan, I just, I had to watch it. I just had to know, you know. I know what you mean, Coconut. I feel the same way. Yeah, it's, it was so good. So just heart-wrenching and such a cool story. But I'm like, did this need to be here? Did we need this? Are you any gonna include any vehicles in the mock? Oh, bro. Oh yeah. I'm gonna include at least one ATTE, at least two gunships, maybe one and a half. <laughs> um, a Coruscant police gunship, hover tanks, AATs, uh, vulture droids, STAPs, ATRTs. Oh yeah, just the full, we're gonna have a full arsenal of, of vehicles in this next mock. This is like, this mock is gonna be so different from what you guys are used to for my large scale mocks because I have so much space to work with. Like I can put in, you know, I can put in tons of vehicles, minifigs, buildings. I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy for this one. It's gonna be a nice change of pace for me. I think you could make that argument with Rogue One. That's, that's a good point actually. Um, it's, it's tough with those in-between shows. You know what I mean? Where it's like, same with Solo, right? That's another one. Because, like, yeah, that's an origin story, but it's like, did that make... Did that add to Solo, Han Solo? You know, that's... To me, that's what a... That's what a good movie, in-between movie, should be, is it adds to the story. And, like, as cool as Kenobi was... You can't... Like, that story, to me, was already kind of wrapped up and told well. What I would like to see is more Vader stuff on his own because that's something that hasn't really been wrapped up because, you know, we see Vader in the be the end of episode three, we see a Vader in episode five. But like, I feel like he could have done a lot of things. But I mean, you could make that same argument that's like, it's basically the same thing as Kenobi. Maybe it's just because I'm a bigger Vader fan and I'd like to see him mess up some rebels and hunt down Jedi and stuff, you know? But I feel like you'd be able to tell a cool story of Vader hunting down that Jedi without affecting or changing the main story too much. But like I said, you could also make that argument for that's basically what Kenobi was. I did really like Rogue One though. That's one of my all time favorite Star Wars movies. I think the one one of the things that really I really enjoyed about Rogue One is it really added to like the price the rebellion paid for those codes. You know, you kind of got to see firsthand like, oh man, they just got messed up just to you know secure those codes. And I will say this too, I don't dislike Reva, 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 however you say her name. I don't really dislike his, her character as much now having seen the whole show than I did in the beginning. In the beginning, I was not a fan at all, but the way they wrapped her, her character up, I, I kind of enjoyed. I still don't know how I feel about her being in the show, but like definitely, I definitely softened towards her character. 
I don't know, like, as much as I love the Skywalker saga, I think it might be time for Lucasfilm to, like, let it go and start working on new stuff. Just because... You know, we're going to keep getting this stuff. But at the same time, that inner child in me and that inner mock builder is like, I want more Clone Wars. I want more Order 66. I want more Clone Troopers, more Jedi battles. You know what I mean? It's just this internal struggle. Because that's what I really like about The Mandalorian is like, The Mandalorian is telling a story that we don't know the ending of. You know, the whole time with Kenobi, it's like, okay, we know what happens. He's going to get away. He's going to defeat Vader somehow. It was still cool, but like with Mando, it's like this is a new untold story. And yes, it's technically in the Star Wars era or the Skywalker era, but it's like it's telling its own story that's not that doesn't weave in with the overall story of the Skywalker story. So I enjoy stuff like that more. Yeah. I want to see a show about something we know nothing about. Yeah, that would be cool. Rogue One was quite good and kind of important to the main line, but yeah. I feel like Rogue One was better than Kenobi. Rogue One did a better job of, like, adding to the story than Kenobi did. Kenobi was cool, but it's like, at the end of the day, cut all of that out. Not much changes for you. But for some reason, Rogue One, to me, had more of an impact. But I don't know if that's just because we got to see, like, Imperial turbo tanks and stuff. And it was just, you know, cool and well-made. High Republic, but problem is that we haven't seen anything on a screen, but Acolyte is coming as well. Yeah, Acolyte, New High Republic. I'm interested to see what those are going to be like. Disney should have completed more unfinished Clone Wars arcs instead of all of the hodgepodge stuff. I would like to see that. I think there's a lot of stuff you can do, because to me it's like, let's tell a story that we don't already know the ending of. Book of Boba Fett kind of was that way. I just, I had no interest in Boba Fett. And it's like, they just did a bad job with that character. So that shows. I don't really like that show. <clears throat> the sequels shouldn't exist. I mean, I don't know. I go back and forth. I'm not a fan of the sequels, but it's like... You know, maybe Disney needed to learn from the mistake of the sequels to be able to put out better Star Wars content in the future. So it's like, maybe because of the sequels, we will they'll learn and we'll get better stuff in the future. That's just a hope. The Kenobi show is hampered by what came before. Literally no tension because we know how it all ends exactly. I enjoyed Solo. Uh, I liked Solo as a movie. Like it's a decent fun ride, but like I was, like we were saying, like it wasn't necessary. I don't care where Han Solo came from. Like me personally, I'm a big fan of like not telling every aspect of every story and every character. I like mystery. I like that it leaves it up to us and our imagination to then go and build, excuse me, go and build mocks and, you know, piece it together with our own fan fictions and our own discussions and debates. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of this idea of, like, every backstory needs an origin story and, like, you know, basically, like, the Marvel version of Star Wars where every hero gets their origin story. I'd rather would have not known any of that stuff about Han. But that being said, the, the movie was decent. <clears throat> Book of Boba Fett got worse and worse every episode to the point where I didn't watch the last three episodes. Yeah, that one was... That one was rough. The Vespas. Oh my gosh, the Hover Vespa. Like that, as soon as that biker gang, the, the child biker gang came into the show, I was like, okay, it's going to be like this, huh? Coconut, what do you think if I would make an Imperial factory? I think that would be cool. Like a... What kind, specifically? My favorite clone commander is definitely Commander Cody. He's a boss. I'm reading um, Labyrinth of Evil right now. I would highly recommend if anybody hasn't read it. It takes place just before the events of Episode 3. And it actually starts out with Anakin, Obi-Wan, and the 212 on Cato So if you're in, if you want to see more, like if you want to learn more about Cody and just read some epic battles and Clone Wars stuff, I'd highly recommend checking it out. It's a good read. I haven't finished it, so maybe it might suck after this, but so far it's been good. Last couple of episodes were the only episodes that I somewhat enjoyed for Kenobi. Factory, the Stormtrooper armor. Yeah, that would be really cool. <clears throat> if I could erase canon, only keep one through six, 
Uh, is that Rebels? What is R1? Clone Wars, Rebels, and Mando Season 1. I mean, I feel like we kind of have, like, Disney has tri basically tried to sweep the sequels under the rug. Like, I don't really see any toys for the sequels anymore. Nobody, none of us are making sequel mocks. Did you notice that? Like, if you look at mocks being made, like, okay, I don't want to say nobody. Jay did that incredible Starkiller, which, that was awesome. You know, Star Max has done his version of Starkiller, the micro version. But, like, you know, every day there aren't new um, sequel mocks popping up, whereas every day you're getting new Clone Wars mocks, which speaks to how good the Clone Wars were. Like, it's more than just, like, us and nostalgia. It's like, there's some good stories to tell. Them. That makes for good stories, you know? So, I don't know. I don't think... I, don't, I feel like, unofficially, the sequels have kind of been erased a little bit. Book of Boba Fett turned into the man. I know, right? They literally had to shit save Boba Fett, the Book of Boba Fett with the man. Which, the whole thing had already been built. It wasn't like they saw how bad it sucked and then brought the Mandalorian in, but still... I thought that was funny. The thing is, I love that we are getting so many new shows. Lacks in variety as everything in timeline. But I fear Star Wars will be the next Marvel. That's, I mean, that's what Disney does, right? They, they want to make money. And so that's what they did with Marvel. They saw that was successful and they're going to try and do it with Star Wars. I think they're going to have to shift gears because they're definitely going to see Star Wars fans put their feet put down like we have and realize like, oh, we can't do that. We have to do some kind of adjustments. Low-key, I would like a Ben Solo show. Like, are you talking about post-Kenobi Season 1? Disney is treating the sequels like they did the prequels during the first five years of owning Lucasfilm at Switch. I know, right? They just, they didn't capture the hearts of Star Wars fans with the sequels. And, you know, there are lots of different reasons why that is. But it comes down to the fact that, like, they're just kind of forgettable. You know, we went, we saw them in the theaters. Some people liked them, some people didn't. And we moved back to Star Wars content we preferred. And, you know, just went from there. It's like, when I'm in a Star Wars mood, I don't go turn on The Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker. I go turn on Episode 2, Episode 1, The Clone Wars. You know what I mean? And that's just a testament to how good those movies are. I feel like they need to stop trying to drag on Star Wars with no great projects. Yeah, they're definitely... I, I don't know, I feel like they're in kind of a experimental phase of trying to figure out what sticks, what people want to see. Sequel content, comics, Lego specials, Galaxy's Edge, Star Cruiser. I mean, it's definitely there, but like... Star, the Star Cruiser Hotel is not that popular. And there are some Lego sets, but really not like not that many. Like, do you really think next year we're gonna start seeing more sequel sets? I don't think we will. Especially because of how long they sat on the shelves this year and last year. Like I always saw sequel sets on the shelves. But you know, anytime. Anytime a Clone Wars original trilogy set got released, it gets swooped up pretty quick. I don't think so. We had a chance to put our foot down in 2020, but we just but we just started gobbling it up as soon as they showed the version of Yoda. Maybe I just I'm more talking about like movies. Like I think there's a reason Disney hasn't you know, really, they've been leaning more into the shows because those have been more successful than the movies. And I think it's because of how the sequels were received. My favorite Star Wars vehicle is definitely the AT, -T, the workhorse, the Republic Army. I'm so excited to get, I want to get two, at least two of the new one, because that'll bring my total up to... That would bring my total up to seven ATTs. And then I want, there's another custom one by Boosker that I want to build. That would bring me up to eight. This is a little expensive though, so it might be a while before I can get that one. 
go back to 2005 the reviews of the prequels fortunately I wasn't on the internet back I wasn't on the internet oh yeah I know people hated the prequels back then but like do you really think in 10 years people are gonna love the sequels I, I just I don't think they will a lot of it too is like we grew up watching we us the younger generations grew up watching the prequels and loving them and now we are giving the prequels their due whereas think about it the younger generations are watching the sequels and already hating them they're not connecting with the they're not connecting or resonating with the characters so i just i don't know how that would change as they grow older if they're already not doing it now because you know a lot of the hate towards the prequels was like original trilogy fans like this isn't star wars or they didn't like the way they were made, the CGI. It's like sequels are well-made movies, it's just the characters weren't there. You should make a uh, video on about how to mod your ATT. Or uh, which ATTE? The 2013 one, or do you want me to mod, like do one of the mod? The mod, the one that's coming out soon. We treated the other crap shows they made like we did Solo, there could have been real change. I like Solo, I thought that was a decent movie. Like I said, it didn't really add to the whole Star Wars universe, but. Who, a five-year-old told you he hates the sequels? Um, no five-year-olds told me they hate the sequels. I just, like, I've never met anyone who has liked the sequels, period. Whether they be old or young. I mean, I've met maybe a couple people here and there, but... And, you know, there are people who are fairly young uh, in the LEGO Star Wars community who don't like the sequels, and I myself don't like the sequels. And what's to get them to like the sequels? Uh, that's that's another thing you have to, you know, you kind of have to show me like what are the redeeming qualities of the sequels? Because it can't just be like the passing of time will make people like these. I mean, what, what's going to bring them to like those? Are you going to do the Jedi Temple in your mock? Um, I would like to. I don't know. I think it would be kind of cool. The problem with that is the Jedi Temple isn't nearby where i'm building so i'm going to be doing the financial district and that's kind of like where the republic senate building is the big round one where you know they do the voting in the galactic senate and the jedi temple jedi temple is like kind of close but it's not close enough that i'd be able to include it in the mock and i, I want to keep it fairly accurate obviously you know i could go with like non-accurate and have it in there anyways but i just wanted to keep it accurate but i did think about it for like a second i was like oh you know what It'd be kind of cool to uh, it'd be kind of cool to include the Jedi Temple, but not this time. I would like to do a Jedi Temple mock though. That's definitely one I feel like I should do as a prequel lover. I grew up with the prequels and liked them, but even after the sequels skewed the quality scale, the prequels are still poor quality movies. Um, I think visually they're not. I think visually they did a great job. Writing wise, definitely. Yo, Life Bricks, what's up, man? I was uh, watching your Brick World vlog earlier today. Looks like you snagged some good stuff and had a good time. How was it being back? Like, was it weird at all? Like, seeing people you hadn't seen in so many years? See you later, Star Max. Thanks for dropping in, man. Hopefully, hopefully, get a good pump in your workout. Rebel Potato, welcome as well. Um, let's see if I think I'm missing. Oh, clone plays. Whoa. Like a ghost returning from the grave. Welcome back, man. Hope life's been treating you well. How's it feel to be done with college for a little bit? Back on YouTube. Are you going to build the 500 galactic building that was seen in the second most recent Kenobi episode? Um, which building is that? I'm not super familiar like with all the names 
My girlfriend likes the sequels more than the prequels, but I think that's partially because she's grown up with the sequels while I grew up with the prequels, but she gets that they're not good Star Wars films. So she likes them, she just doesn't think they're good movies. Oh yeah, look at all this plate. Oh man, I'm just making messes over here. Making messes. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm playing Battlefront 2. It's all good. You make make an all orange Coruscant. Yes, do a Coruscant that's never been done before. I'm going to do it all orange. And I'm going to put only sequel characters on it. So it'll be a, a Coruscant sequels mod. It was definitely weird. Met a lot of people and didn't hang out with some people I thought I would. But overall, it makes me excited to get back to the core of the community. That's See, that's what would be weird for me. Is like, I'm... I'm kind, of, I'm kind of shy, and I am not the most outgoing of people. So there are people, obviously I want to meet you guys, but it, I'm like, man, what am I going to talk about with people once I meet them? Am I just going to stand there awkwardly and not know what to say? You know what I mean? That's, that's one of my fears of going to conventions. Like, how am I going to interact with people? What's up, Air Gamer Pro? Welcome. What's up, Malls Mox? How you doing? What's happening here? So I'm sorting parts for Coruscant. Hopefully episode one should be out this week. Technically next week, I guess, because Sunday, but I'm getting all these parts ready so I can start work on it. Get them all sorted to their proper homes. I'm excited for Coruscant. It's a nice change considering the last two big mocks you made have been dark. Uh, do you mean dark tan? Yeah, definitely. I am excited for the change. It's, it's, it's refreshing. And it's a different style of build, too, like I've talked about a little bit. You know, more smaller, more detailed builds instead of just one big chunk of rock work with, you know, smaller details mixed in with that. Thanks for the welcome. I'm happy to be on a break. Got a lot of time to design stuff. Yeah, sounds like you have some big plans redesigning a lot of ships in the classic style. Really want to go to a Lego convention. Yeah, me too. I actually am going to my first one this year. Hey, Key Motions, welcome. Correction, the building's name is called 500 Republica. I'll do, yeah, send me a picture. I was mainly pissed my allergies got terrible on Friday, Saturday. Terrible Friday and Saturday. Did you have to stay in your hotel room or did you just take some meds and get back out there? What part of course are you making? The whole thing. No. Um, I'm going to be doing the financial district. just um the financial district being the the area where the large you know galactic senate building is lots of buildings i'm going to be having a republic clone base over there on that side it's kind of funny i was in elementary school i preferred lego star wars 2 over lego star wars 1 on gamecube and hindsight it foreshadows my taste to take later who could have predicted i guess you did I think the sequels would have been better if there was a unified version. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I think, I think if they had picked a story and stuck with it, they probably could have made something good. So they're just going all over the place. We need Takai YTT to direct a Star Wars project. That would be cool. He's an awesome director. It would definitely probably make some very traditional Star Wars fans mad. Like, this isn't Star Wars, but I think he would do a really good job. He's a he's very talented. <clears throat> Is it clones you will be using in this mock? Yes, it's going to be an epic clones versus droid battle. Classic. So many parts. Oh yeah, dude, this isn't even all the parts. I have part bags of parts all back here where you can't see. <clears throat> I didn't enjoy the sequels as a whole, but I think The Force Awakens. Yeah, I like The Force Awakens. That was probably my favorite one. You're going to do crazy lighting for Coruscant for all the buildings, kind of like Solid Brick Studios did with Mandalore. Also be cool if you got some people to sponsor your mock. I mean, yeah, I don't really know how I would get people to sponsor my mock. You mean like Bricklink stores? I don't know if I'm going to light it up yet. That's really expensive. And so, like, you know, first and foremost, building the mock is more important, so kind of see like how much money I have as I get building and maybe you know I can figure out from there I need to see a Christopher Nolan Star Wars that would be awesome that would be 
See, Christopher Nolan would be a good director for like an Order 66 movie or TV show or something. Or like, he would do good with Vader, I feel like. What do you think about the new summer sets that were revealed? I think they're really good, solid sets. Um, they were priced. They were priced pretty well. I'm interested to see if the prices are gonna go up on those sets in September. Will you ever do a Tatooine mock? Probably not. I've never been particularly inspired by Tatooine. I don't know, it's just, you know, it's a desert planet. Not a whole lot happens there. So, probably not. I think the prequels have also gotten better over time because we've gotten media that refined the gaps and plot holes, right? And it's just... Um, There's just a good story, too. Like, really cool story. Really good characters. I think that makes up for, like, the bad writing a little bit. Gotta bounce. Have a good one. See you later, Sips and Slipstream. Have a great day, my man. And thank you for dropping by. I think I already read that. Don't let Nolan touch Star Wars. Why not? You don't like Nolan, Austin? I think I'll never be satisfied with Star Wars ever again. Ooh. Ooh. It's unfortunate. I mean... It's hard because, like, to me, there's a side of Star Wars that'll never be satisfied, but that's the side of me experiencing Star Wars for the first time as a kid. And it's like, it's going to be, you know, you, you can't really satisfy that again. I, I enjoyed Kenobi. I don't know if you were here earlier when I said this life bricks, but, like, I was saying I enjoyed Kenobi, but I don't know that, like, I would prefer that that series had been made. You know, like, it was good. It redeemed itself in the end, in my opinion, and I enjoyed it. But, like, maybe would it have been better if they had just left this alone? Maybe. Sent the picture. Thanks. I'll check it out. I think I, I think we might be thinking of the same building, Bacon, but I, I'll double check just to make sure. Are you going to be getting back into Star Wars mocks, Life Bricks, or are you going to be going more into Batman stuff? What is a late dock, Clone Trooper Lego? Is that a vehicle of some kind? I feel like I'd be mad if they made a comedic Star Wars movie, but then again, I'd really want to see Star Detours. So maybe I wouldn't get super mad. Yeah, it just depends on how it was made. up can only be here for a minute but wanted to pop in well thanks for popping in mike and tony i appreciate it what you up to today ct raptor welcome to the stream truthfully everything these days is just worse there's very little these days i feel like are 10 out of 10 for any movie yeah i mean me and my wife have talked about that a lot of like we can re-watch old movies over and over again but like newer movies it's hard to find a movie that even if it was good i would watch more than once like very rarely and it's just kind of like you know i don't want to turn this into a political stream or anything by any means but like you know movies tend to be eaten up by political agendas more and more and like you know telling sharing a message which that's you know that's you know an important way to express yourself i guess but like i feel like it's starting to take the place of a good story and i'm not talking about just star wars i'm just talking about in general my second Star Wars mock series happening for me again. Oh, so you're doing... Oh, July 2nd. Nice. So that starts right after my Coruscant series starts. I like Dune, but it wasn't me. Yeah. But visually, Dune was awesome. Like, the, the music, the, the scenes, it was epic. But, like, if I were to come watch that at home in my apartment, probably would be extremely bored. And having seen it already. Like, it was... A cinematic masterpiece, but outside of that, just it wasn't that entertaining. Yes, I have seen the finale for Kenobi. All right, see you later, TJ Clicks. I appreciate you dropping by. Like, Walking Dead is my favorite piece of media, but 
Every to do with that universe, the past four years have been straight garbage. 2010 to 2018 was pretty shit. Everything. That was some good. Those were some good times. I only ever watched season one. I can't remember if I got into season two of Walking Dead or not. Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> that was a... I like monster movies for the sake of giant monsters fighting each other. Like, I will be the first to admit they're cheesy. Characters are poorly written, shallow. But for me, it's just about giant monsters fighting. So I, I enjoy those ones. Personally, I'd rather Kenobi focus on Kenobi being a hermit on Tatooine and his journey and becoming more aligned with the Force. They could have had an episode where Inquisitors come. But leave it as only a single episode. See, what I would have liked... I didn't really like how the whole Leia thing... And this obviously... This isn't a spoiler, I don't think, because it's from the beginning of the show. Like, I don't like how much time the Leia thing took up. Like, I legitimately thought, like, oh, this will be, like, a one-and-done thing that, like, gets brings Kenobi back, and then he goes on and does something else. But turns out that was it. Have you seen the original King Kong vs. Godzilla? Are you talking about, like, the old one from... How old are we talking? I haven't seen it, but I think I might know what you're talking about. <clears throat> hey, Conflict, how you doing, man? You should go watch Top Gun. I heard it's a really good movie. I just... I don't like Tom Cruise. And I don't really... I don't know. It doesn't really interest. seem like an interesting movie. But I've heard it's been killing it. Same with Stranger Things. I've heard great things about that show. I've never seen it, though. I only watched two or three seasons before it got too repetitive. Are you talking about Walking Dead? Jeez. Yeah, it seems like, obviously, once again, I haven't seen it, but it seems like Stranger Things has been very consistent. Almost like Game of Thrones up until the end of Game of Thrones when they just absolutely just butchered the show. Oh, a dock on a lake. Sorry, I was thinking of like some kind of vehicle. That sounds very scenic. That sounds so nice, actually. I wish I was doing that. Hey, what's up, Wampa? How you doing? It's so dumb, Lay is a 10-year-old girl that cannot... Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that like made me laugh. Watching Leia outrun grown men. Like, grown mercenaries. These aren't just grown men. These are men who are, like, trained to bring people in to kill. And they're, like, they're being thwarted by, like, branches and logs. And they're like, oh, oh, we just can't catch her. And I was like, bro, it's ridiculous. What's wrong with Tom Cruise? Everything he touches turns to gold. I, I just don't like who he is as a person, I guess. Come on, well, there we go. Part of it, too, could be I'm just not into ag spy movies. I think the way movies and politics have merged in the past few decades is what makes the rewatchability difficult. My favorite movies of all time have political messages. But yeah, that's that's kind of what I was saying, Doug, is like it's important to tell stories and to like represent, you know, messages through movies. But it has, you know, but to not just shove it down your audience's throat and kind of like, you know, be extremely heavy handed with it. Because I agree, like, a, pol a movie with a good political message is, you know, I mean, Star Wars, take for example, you know, they, every good movie has some kind of message to it, but it has to be done well. Yeah, I like Tom Hardy, he's a boss. Have you ever watched Peaky Blinders, Tyler? That seems like a show you would like. There's a Chris Pratt Mario movie coming out? What? That, that sounds that sounds ridiculously enough that sounds ridiculous enough to be real every Marvel show is terrible every movie after Endgame terrible yeah I didn't wasn't a, I, I haven't really watched a whole lot of Marvel shows I think the last one I watched was Loki and after that I was just like meh nah, these aren't for me I'm at my grandparents' house until we get a rental house, and tonight I'm going to hunt beavers because they keep eating the trees by the lake. 
Are you gonna hunt beavers like it with traps and stuff? My favorite movie genre? Um, I don't really have a favorite genre of movie. It's kind of like music for me. I don't have a favorite genre of music. It's more like certain movies and songs that I and like. You know, enjoy action, obviously. There's some good dramas out there, some good thrillers. It just kind of depends. There isn't really like a type of genre I'm like, oh, I'm always in the mood to sit down and watch that. Um, do you get triggered when someone says Legos instead of Lego? No, I don't. I don't care. BB guns. Oh, so you're just going to drive them away. You're not going to like actually kill them. Peaky's on my watch list. Same with the boys. I've seen a little bit of the boys. Some of it I like. That TV show is definitely too intense for me. But I've heard it's a really well made and a very popular show. Here we go, we got even more parts. Yes, Shawshank Redemption. Ooh, I've heard good things. I've heard that's a classic. I haven't actually seen it, but I've only heard good things about that one. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's the that's the way to do. It. Or like, what's another good good movie like that? Um, this one's a little bit less obvious, but I really enjoyed the Truman Show. That's like one of my all-time favorite movies. I can go from watching an episode of 90 Day Fiance to an episode of Walking Dead, so I as well. Yeah, that's kind of how I am life, Bricks. It's like, I just do these drastic changes just depending on my mood. BB guns and guns. I don't get why the Batman was so hyped. I, I don't know. Like, it was all right. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know that I'd watch it again. I think it was just people were excited to have a movie to watch, to be honest. That wasn't like really bad. Wow. These are some, look at these. I don't know if you can see this super well, but these suckers are chewed up and scratched. Look at that. Battle damage. That kind of sucks, they were expensive. I'm gonna go, it's 1 a.m. Sleep tight, Butterman. Thanks for joining, I appreciate it. What part of course are you making? I'm building the financial district. Because that's where there's a big siege. Oh yeah, Inception. That's a good one. There's a big siege that takes place in the financial district during the Crown Battle of Coruscant. You kind of look like a surfer. That's ironic because I hate surfing. And I'm terrified of the ocean. Thoughts on the new ATTE? I think it's fire. I, I prefer the 2013 ATTE a little bit. There are some slight builds with the 2013 ATTE that I think are better than the new one, but I still like the new one a lot and I think it's a great set. Like the feet and the legs, I prefer the old version, but it looks like the newer version might have a little bit beefier legs. So I'm, I'm honestly gonna have to like see it in person to really decide, but I still think it's a solid set. The Truman Show is amazing. Easily one of my top three favorite films of all time along with The Godfather and Shaw Shank. Shaw Shank, still need to see Godfather too. Yeah, I love The Truman Show. Such a good movie. I like, I like a lot of Jim Carrey's older work. What's the most accurate Lego set ever made? I'd say the UCS ATAT -AT because it's minifig scale. Um, I mean, you could make that case for a lot of the UCS sets like um, the Slave One, ATAT, -AT, even the Imperial Shuttle, Sandcrawler. Yeah, all of those. The UCS Slave one is, whew, that's a good looking set. Especially like as far as accuracy goes. We've been trying to reach you about your land speeders extended warranty. Nice. Got him. Anyone else think The Godfather's overrated? I've never seen it. 
I, I've, I've heard a lot about it, but never seen it. Godfather 2 is the superior film. Interesting. Um, hey, Tyler, while I have you on here, do you think with the increase of some Lego set prices, is that going to, because you have, you know, you're a Brickling seller. You would, you would know better than a lot of people. Well, not better, but you might have a better idea. Do you think prices, like for your store in particular, are going to go up a bunch because of the increase in prices for Lego sets? Because I've heard a lot of people being like, oh, like, you know, this could affect, like, this is going to affect everyone. Like, parts are going to go up on Bricklink. But I want to know your thoughts as, like, an actual Bricklink seller. Like, I know no one's really going to know until it happens. But, like, what are your predictions? That set got me buying again after a three-year slump. I would like that set. Just not enough to pay however much it's going for these days. I've heard, I've heard it's pretty expensive. Rightfully so. It's a... A top tier set. The set that got me buying again or brought me out of my dark ages was the 2015 Imperial Shuttle to Tiderium. That is a beautiful play scale, play scale set. Gorgeous. Highly recommend it. The leak that Lego will make one, there's a leak that Lego will make one million more Luke Land speeders. I believe it. Honestly, I think the ATTEs are one of the few vehicles that LEGO has consistently gotten right. I think the every one they've made has been good. I thought the Rebels one was good for what it is. I think so too. The 2002 one is definitely dated. But if you look back, like comparatively, comparing the ATT to the other sets that were coming out, because, you know, LEGO just wasn't the same as it is now. It was a good set. I, I'd have to agree with that. Like the gunship and the ATT are two of the most just consistently solid sets ever released because you know we've had not so great turbo tanks in my opinion you know x-wings there's been good and bad ones mtt's the 2014 one was just garbage but yeah the atte just they nailed it especially that 2013 one that 2013 one is beautiful hey what's up g bricks welcome how you doing man I like I like the 2010 and the 2007 turbo tanks. It's the 2015 one that I don't like. But I would like to get it just for the Quinlan boss and Luminara minifigs. They look so cool. What did you do with your sealed 2013 ATTE? I sold it. I sold it when I when they're the leaks got announced that there would be a new ATTE because I was afraid that the price might drop for the ATTE for like the 2013 one. Sold it. Do you think we could see a UCS minifig scale turbo tank? No, definitely not minifig scale. That would be like 15,000 pieces. It would probably, you'd probably need a personal loan. You'd have to take out a loan to be able to buy that. Do you think we'll get a gunship in 2023? We might, considering we got the, if you've noticed, every single ATTE has come in tandem with a gunship to date. Outside of the Rebels ATTE, but that's kind of like, that's a little different, you know. So I could see one coming out next year. I have them all the 2016 ones. Oh, I'm so jealous, dude. Those those minifigures, the Quinlan Voss and the Lumina are unduly are beautiful. They're so expensive though. The turbo you have the turbo tank too? Nice. What's up, Mr. Game Boy? Welcome. So many slope pieces. Ridiculous. you guys rather see well i mean we did get a ucs gunship but i don't think i mean they released the ucs at at and a play scale at at 
within a pretty close time frame, so I don't think that would affect them releasing a playscale gunship. I still haven't bought the UCS gunship, and the longer time goes on, the more I wonder if I'm ever even going to get one. Dang it, I guess Tyler left. I was hoping he'd answer my brick limpy question. So I'm curious, curious to know if that's going to affect the prices. I just sold my ghost. How much did you sell it for? Isn't that one worth quite a bit of money? My first Lego Star Wars set was the 2016 Spider Droid. I had to look it up to believe it, Quinlan. Dude, he shot up a ton. Him and Luminara. I think it's because they're just, they're so well detailed. Such good looking minifigures. I hope we get a gunship soon. I really don't like the UCS gunship, but I'm not going to invest all the money into the, for an okay build and two minifigures that are much easier to get. Especially because, you know, you're never going to get to use that in a mock. The sad thing is, most playscale gunships are going to be just as much, if not more, than a UCS gunship. <laughs> like, used. I was going to say no gunship since there's a UCS gunship, but there's also UCS. Exactly. Exactly. I don't think it would be 160 just because the gunship's small. Both? Dang, I have them. Yeah, they're expensive. Or take good care of those. Maybe one day it'll pay for your college. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go for about eight more minutes or so, and then we'll wrap up here. It's been a good stream so far. I had a large turnout, which has been awesome. Gotta love it when that happens. Do you guys ever have this problem where you go to buy a minifigure and you see that it's really expensive? So you're like, well, at that, at that point, I might as well just buy the set. But the set's even more, so then you don't know what to do. That's kind of where I'm at with those two minifigures. I'd like to have them both. I'm like, man, combined, it's over 100 bucks. But, you know, the set itself is probably like 200. So it's like, do I pay the extra 100? Well, it's probably like 250 now. 300 maybe? I don't know. We don't have college here. I think I'm too old for it. You don't have college. Where are you where are you at? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, I've been putting it off offer been putting it off for a while. I gotta go place my upper finger. Ah I've been there, man. I've been there. I've got I, I have an order right now that I'm like I need to buy, but I don't really want to pay for it right now. Oh, Denmark. Okay. Oh, he's from, you're from the homeland. The beginning. Yo, Brickanix, what's up, man? Coming in hard with that $10 dono. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you on. What you been up to today? And thank you. Huge thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Right at the end, too. Dude, these plates are so beat up. Man, it's a good thing I didn't need these for, like, a finished mock. Because these are ugly looking. When will we see more of your Jabim mock? Um, so every Thursday at 1.15 Eastern time, I release my update. So tomorrow, tomorrow I have episode eight of Jabim. So that's when you'll see it next. Although I might put out like a little update for it today. Driving home, ready to do some grilling. Oh, yes, dude. Yes, I know it's grilling season. I got to get my grill cleaned off so I can do some grilling as well. What are you grilling up? Steak, chicken, burgers. Dude, there's nothing like being able to get off early from work. Ah, oh, those were good times. Good times indeed. The turbo tank from 2015 cost 500 on Amazon. Oh yeah, you don't buy it on Amazon. It's always gonna be overpriced there. I've enjoyed Kenobi, haven't seen the last episode yet, but I would have preferred a Quinlan Vos show, especially since we got a name drop. I know, that would have been really cool. Quinlan 
Quinlan, such a cool Jedi. 2016 Turbo Tank was on sale for 90 for like two years. Oh, it makes me sick that I missed out on that. Did ribs over the weekend today. I'm doing some Polish sausages. I had ribs over the weekend as well. Um, celebrating Father's Day. Oh, dude. Ribs are so good. I don't have the skills yet for ribs. I've tried them and they just don't turn out great. But my dad makes some amazing ribs. Coconut, how big overall will the new Bach be? Um, let me pull up the tape measure. We can, we can see. Be right back. Correctly, it's going to be the entire length of this table. So it's going to be it's going to be just under eight feet long, and then come on, it's going to be like almost five feet wide. So let's say just under eight feet long. Just over, just under five feet wide. Big old, big old mock. Where was it on sale? Cheese is just like, is that just like at stores and stuff? I'm stoked because my last package for my custom barbarian armor to come in today, so that will be cool. Oh, nice. Where did you get that from? I finally got my, um, I got my Firestar toys order in today. Mechanics took. You were right. It took about two weeks, I think little under two weeks. I'm still waiting on the Forest Moon Bricks order. But man, those custom lightsaber hilts are so cool. I've got a fun little video playing with those. Found them still in mint condition. Nice. Who knew? Who knew you had some, such hidden gems in your collection, right? Who would have thought? I always saw it available at Target. Oh, okay. I know, right? Don't, I, I've had that happen before. Like, oh, I should pick up more of those, and you just don't. Okay, let's see. Uh, made it through a good chunk of these parts. Organized and ready to go. Gonna start filming episode one of course off tomorrow. Hopefully I should have it done by Sunday. Who's over there? Am I the only person who has clone army customs come in four days? Mine come pretty quickly. I haven't bought from them in a long time because of how expensive they are, but they come fairly quickly for me. The, my Firestar toys order came took so long because you know came from the UK. Sorry, I'm not sure why I posted that twice. I'm not spamming. <laughs> it's all good. I was wondering. I was like, what? What's going on there? <laughs> it's all good, bro. <laughs> I should really look up the price on my figures. Those are still in good condition. Been collecting for 16 to 18 years. So yeah, you probably got some, uh, you got some, you probably got a ton of gems. Like Clone Wars era minifigs always do really well. It's not the same thing that happened to you, Brickanics, but sometimes I'll get days where I just can't type to save my life. And it's just like one typo after the next. And I, uh, for some reason, I won't catch it until after, after it's already sent. I hate it when that happens. I'm working towards every Clone Wars and prequel thing. How close are you? Are you gonna go on to original trilogy next, cheese, or is it just just Clone Wars? I'd like to do like every single clone trooper. I like to think I'm fairly close on that. Outside of like, you know, the 
like the Shadow Arf, and um, I'm trying to think if there's any other like Poly Bag or exclusive Clone Troopers that would be hard to get. Because so I have all the. Let's see, I have every named commander in both variants except for Fox. I have every single one of those. I have all the Phase One ranked Clone Troopers, uh, Shock Troopers. 212, 501st, like I've got pretty much all the battalions. Except for Wolf Pack. I don't have any Wolf Pack. Um, don't have the Arc Trooper. I don't have any. I don't have the Rancor Battalion or Horn Company or Bomb Squad. I think those might be the only ones I'm missing. Who here is pre ordering the ATT? I tried to, but by the time I got onto Lego, it was already gone. I was pretty sad. Just watched Braveheart for the first time last night. That holy crap, that was great. That's I've I've seen part of it on TV, but yeah, that's a pretty epic movie. That'll get your uh, your warrior blood pumping. Yo, Fed Film, Fed Films, the working man is here. How's life at Canadian Tire? Clone Wars is like ninety five percent prequel seventy. I'll probably move on to original trilogy figs from two thousand five and before. What do you need left for the prequels? Not much, man. What about you? Just chilling. Working away, getting ready for Coruscant. You know how I be. I'm trying to get all these pieces sorted so I can get them, you know, put away and know what I have. Can't pre-order the ATT. Yeah, they you can't do it on uh America in America either. I think it went it ran out or filled they filled up their quarter of pre-orders. I don't know what happened, but I was gonna too late. Wait, you could pre-order the ATT. So the Saturday the Saturday Lego Con that it got announced. Uh, Solid Brick Studios posted on Instagram showing that pre-orders were available for the ATTE, but I didn't see that until it had been posted for like two hours. And by the time I got over there, yeah, I wasn't able to do it. So I don't have to, I don't know if they like took it down or they ran out of pre-orders or what. So I didn't actually like physically see it. That's just, that's what I saw. All right, dude, I have to run. Have a good one. Hey, good luck with the barbecuing, man, and thanks for the dono. I really appreciate it. Prequels, the only pricey figs left are OG, Watto, Ahsoka, Astromech. I have all the Jedi and Clone Trooper. Ahsoka, Astromech, what's up? Does that come in? Nice, the deed has been done, Douglas. That's, that's good. Do you prefer to be called Douglas or Doug? There aren't any pre-orders available for ATTs now. But, I mean, unless Solid Brick Studios was wrong, like, he posted on his story and, like, took a screenshot, you know, of of the LEGO website and you could see a spot to pre-order. In my mock, I'm building a LEGO Star Wars room. So there's a LEGO Star Wars room for your LEGO Star Wars minifigures. Now that sounds like Inception. How's your day going? Hey, what's up, Saber Trooper? It's going pretty good. Pretty sure Solid Bricks was wrong. Yeah, it could have been. I, I don't know. It's going pretty good. Finished up, um, finished up Jabim episode eight. Put that out on the Patreon for the Patreon. Some of the Patreon members. Um, I'm streaming, worked out. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, though. I need to find something to do. Whichever one I prefer is easier. I just, because you know how sometimes people will have, like, their full name, but they're never called that, so I didn't, I don't want it to, like, be weird or something. Hey, Red House, what's up, man? You joined us right at the end, sorry. Got the money for the sets I want day one. Gonna pre-order the Obi-Wan sets tonight so I can get the sweet Forester Treehouse gift with purchase. That's a pretty cool gift with purchase. I'd be more interested in getting that if you didn't have to spend 150 US dollars, which that's 
There's just nothing that I want or need that's $150. Oh, from the first like from from the first Lego Star Wars game. Not the old Obi Wan verse. Okay, that, okay, that makes you feel a little bit better. I didn't I didn't say anything, but I was like, that films is buying the Obi Wan verse. He's pre ordering that. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> Fed must really he must be really passionate about that duel. That was a very that was a meaningful scene for him. You're all good. I used to have a preference, but I stopped caring three days into high school. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this stream. Running out of space to sort, but I appreciate everyone for coming out. We had a great turnout today, some great discussion. I like it when we have good, deep discussions. Sometimes I struggle bringing up good talking points. So I appreciate you guys helping, helping carry the conversation with me. Thank you to Andy Brickanics. I know he's gone, but thank you for that dono. I really appreciate it. And thanks everyone for coming out. Um, tomorrow is episode eight of Building Jabim. I've got a brand new crate design I'm going to show you. And then I'm actually gonna start building for uh shelter base so that'll be cool so make sure to stay tuned for that update and yeah catch you guys later and until next time happy building